Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kuser, and today I got for you a special video. Today we're gonna talk about how to create our own horror comic or manga. And before we start, please. You can follow me on my Instagram. I will put the link down in the description. And you can find there my Twitter and my TikTok too. And I'm working on my Patreon, so you guys can stay tuned. I will appreciate it. And I will I will I will give you some updates pretty soon. Pretty soon. I hope so, but yeah, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. So today we're gonna talk about horror, one of my favorite, favorite topics, and one of my favorite genres in the entire whole world. Well, you know already, I'm a kind of like a weird guy. You can see um, my art and you will notice that I have a little bit of a taste with horror. <laughs> with horror, you can be more flexible and it has these different type of subgenres in the genre guys you already know girls you already know too uh, people who are into this thing of horror because I'm not just talking about the comic medium because there's a lot of people who enjoy movies who enjoy books um, and we gonna dive into those topics too to how they deal with their medium and how you can translate in like their ways to create horror in those mediums and translate it to comics or mangas and you can Use it in your work or future work if you are really into creating your own stories. I'm all for it. Um, I'm here to help you out and I'm glad that you're here. So yeah, um, let's just do some pages. Uh, let's do some things in the computer and let's just dive in into the subject. A dark alley, a haunted house, feeling of emptiness, loneliness, and desperation, sickness, and madness. Horror, that's what we are talking about today. But for some of you, what is horror? Well, horror, it is a genre in fiction when, where you can deal with some serious stuff like some subjects and themes that other types of genre don't even touch. In the horror, you can deal with addiction, deprivation, and even mental illness. In horror, you can play with the primordial fears of humanity, but you have to understand them. What makes you scared at night? What makes you wake up all sweaty, looking in the dark corner of your room? That's what we are talking about today. How we can 
create an atmosphere in our work and create a good short horror comic and have fun writing in it and creating it so i will show you guys my my way to do it it is not a tier list of my way to do it is not rules that you have to follow it is just my way to deal with create creating a short horror story and if you wanna see my work and judge me about it <laughs> Well, you can see my, my comics on Webtoons, and I will encourage you to do it. And so let's start talking about the building blocks of how to create a short horror story in comics or manga. So the first thing that I do is creating a theme, an entire theme the feeling that I want to express to my readers. Sometimes it will be isolation, desperation. You have to think in this way. For me works because um, <clears throat> to be an honest, everybody has their own way to create horror. But for me is is always going back to the primordial fears like always the childish fears like being afraid just of the dark for no logical reason the illogical part about it is the craziness that i'm talking about i like to explode uh, exploit that thing in my characters and my stories because the human mind deceives itself most of the time so you can create a theme where your character probably deals with dementia or a curse that will affect the way that he approach reality and everybody else or and in in that way you can create a theme of desperation so that's what i'm talking about it's kind of like this easy but sometimes i i i do it and kind of builds itself but you have to work like in your intentions before you go to write your story. So uh, I then next, whenever I have a theme, I will start creating a character profile. Well, I will not go so extensively in this er area because I already have a video talking about how you can create a character is the same thing but in horror most of the time you can you can just elude most of the information of your characters like it's not essential that the readers have to know everything about your character probably you are putting this story in a certain point in a certain place and your character is already already developed so you have to hint a lot of stuff the the express that your character has lived and has a past and all that stuff so but you don't have to go so hard about it depends of what setting are you gonna do and that's the next step or the next thing that I do 
is working on the setting and the setting is important because it helps you to be more creative in the area where the entire story will be based on so um, with the setting you can define uh, the place where your characters will encounter the horrors that will haunt in them or something like that like let's say uh, your character is in a cliff and he it, he make a misstep and he fell and a bunch of aggressive animals will start approaching him and yeah so you can work on that setting and you can start with that you can you don't have to like with other mediums you have to like start with your character present him like given age place all the stuff sometimes it's just a moment or a situation that happens so that's where you have to think in the setting so and when we already have the setting we go to defining the danger what i mean about defining the danger it is basically who is the bad guy of your story will be a slasher story will be a haunted house so you will use ghost curses exorcisms what it is in your story who is driving your characters to probably their end or probably to their salvation depends on you so what is the driving force on the plot for you characters and what it makes it interesting to read your story so you have to think in that terms so if you're gonna use creatures well you can use creatures you can use the supernatural too so you have to pick and choose whatever you are kind of like inspired to do i'm just here to ignite the flames and then I will work next to the breaking point what I mean about that what is gonna happen in your story and gonna drive your characters to the edge you know what I mean the the more ancient scenes or situation of, of your story the probably the revealing of what is the 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 supernatural thing that is going on surrounding your characters the explanation you can you can play with that um that's why i'm saying that is the breaking point because you can play with the expectation of your readers because most of the readers in horror think they w they know what the at the end is gonna happen because we already know that that, that everybody who, that there is a character in a horror story will be doomed and they will die and yeah but we 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 want to know what happened what is going on and it is good to have a breaking point that that the moment of excitement of the reader to oh this is why all of this is happening or probably this explain what is happening to these characters so yeah you can play with that too and yes so and then I go to my 
pre-final step that is for me is make it personal what i mean about that is if you already know your character and depends of it what lengths you want to go with your story if you want to like extend your story you can play with a lot of, of the backstory of your character what i mean about that is the probably your character have some trauma and you can have a big reveal that probably that trauma is the initial cause of his entire madness or an event that happened in his childhood or someone or something putting a curse on them or those type of fun cheerful and lifeful stuff you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah that's what i mean make it personal like why your character is struggling in your story and why your readers have to care and it is good that you will you will just punch it in the gut with something that is commonplace like probably child abuse or something like that so some people will will say that i that's a lot but for me it is something that i enjoy in horror when people are not afraid to just dealt with serious stuff and i will appreciate you guys to just be brave and just start exploring some deep deep thoughts and putting them into your work and I'll, i will be glad to just see it so if if you are inspired for me in some way just show me please something and let's finish with the end well yeah you have to focus on the ending of your story of course how everything will just develop and how are you gonna explain the the entire weird thing that you disturb mind and want to create <laughs> so yeah you have to like think ahead so you already have to have the basics of how you you want to end your story in what way and what are the changes that your characters will have at the end if they survive your story of course but you have to to have have an event that will change stuff in your story like uh, probably history or uh personal change for your character but but you have to evolve you don't have you cannot finish your story in the same place that you started so yeah change is important guys change is important for me is more to how you want to make your readers feel by the end with what they they are leaving your story like probably your story is about redemption and by the end your character will find peace and you leave your readers with a little bit of grief but you finish your story with a light touch or you can go the other way and you just mess everybody up and you just make the curse never end never ending curse 
of horror go wild but yeah depends on you how you want to end your story and yeah that's that's about it that's how i tackle uh my short stories more in writing but yeah uh, this is the part that, that i'm just talking just gibberish but i will just add on to these advices that whenever you are creating your comic you have to think too in whenever you will print it you your comic will be print you you can have the turning of the pages you can use the turning of the pages at your advantage I learned this from Junji Ito. Junji Ito talks about this in a documentary about his work, and he says that he he is you he used the the turn of the pages in his advantage whenever he's doing a horror story too, and that helps because it is something so cool the the details that people don't 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 notice like most people don't notice but whenever you are turning the page represents the time in the story so let's say that you are probably in the middle of the story and then bam turn of the page is something horrific and that's the thing that's the things that you have to think about you have to see this medium with all their advantages first like don't focus on the disadvantages on comics like just focus on the advantages of the medium and exploit them because this is how we get in sharp on this guys so yep that will be it for me uh i will extend more on this topic about writing horror and all this stuff in future videos but for now i will leave you guys and thank you for watching i'll appreciate whoever is been watching my videos and whoever is been subscribing thank you thank you a lot and i will see you in the next one bye bye Hi again, sorry to bother, I just wanted to show you guys some of my work. These are some chapters that I already did, they are published and available for you to read. If you like horror, if you like creatures, you like weird stuff like me, I will encourage you to read my anthology of horror stories called dark tales you can find me on webtoons just type it up dark tales and you will find me leave a comment read my stories be mean be funny be a person be a person I just want to let you know if you stay this long I love you and if you want to you can follow me on my social media and yeah that will be all thank you bye bye oh i almost forgot if you like this content please i'm begging you leave a like subscribe and hit the bell it's free baby